Good morning, y'all. Well, we have got breakfast on the stove. And over here, we have got the beef broth that we put on yesterday. And look how nice and rich that is. Now, I've already taken out the bones and the fat. And I'm going to be getting the meat off of that and throwing it back in the crock pot. Now I'm making beef stew for supper tonight. So as soon as I'm ready, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, we are going out to the garden. Mr. James said there's a couple good sized turnips out here that I want to pick for tonight's stew. I see a couple nice ones. Oh, yeah. Would you be so kind as to pick those, Mr. James? Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. Well, that's not too bad. And that'll be nice in tonight's stew. Now we need <laughs> at least one more. Okay. Take it out. And here's the second one. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. There it is. All right, y'all. Meet you back in the kitchen. Okay, y'all. Now, here's the next ingredients for the beef stew we're making tonight. We've got garlic and parsley, carrots, potatoes, onions, turnips, and salt and pepper. Now, this broth is so rich that it's not necessary to add anything else except for the salt and pepper for seasoning. Now, here we have the tops off the turnips, and I washed them up really well, and I'm going to go to the garden tomorrow and pick some collard greens, and we're going to mix these together with some really good ingredients, and... We're going to make greens, and I'm definitely going to do a video on that because quite a few people wanted the recipe for my greens, so we will be doing that tomorrow. Now, in this broth, I did put a little handful of celery that we dehydrated before. Um, just give it a little more flavor and I put the leftover beef from last night's supper in this as well but see how rich that is all right y'all we have got our vegetables all chopped up and they are in nice bite-sized pieces when you think of a stew you think of large hearty pieces of vegetables and that's what we have here even the garlic is rough chopped so what we're going to do we're just going to start throwing it all in goes old Cooper barking again. It's all right. Now what I'm going to do is add some pepper. And remember seasoning is always to taste. A little bit of salt and not soy sauce. I got the wrong thing out. Hold on a minute guys. Okay guys this is the right stuff. And we're just going to, not too much, because the broth is already rich enough. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to add a little bit of water. We're going to stir this up. And we are going to let that cook for about two hours. And then we're going to come back and 
we're going to thicken the broth. Doesn't that look amazing though so far? Okay, y'all, we are about an hour away from this being done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get ready to thicken the broth. So I'm going to take some of this broth and put it in here. And I'm going to let this get completely cool. And then I'm going to mix some flour with that and put it back in there and that will thicken this. Okay, y'all, our broth is nice and cool that I took out. And what we're going to do, we're going to add flour to it. And the reason we let it cool is so the flour will mix up nice and smooth and not cook because the broth is too hot. And what you want to do, you want to mix this up till it's about the consistency of pancake syrup. And you want to make sure you beat out all of the lumps. you really don't want lumps in the stew. That should about do it right there. And you just keep adding a little at a time. When I've got the lumps beat out of this, I will be back. Okay, y'all. Now this is the consistency you want it. And that's going to make for a lovely gravy. All right, everyone. Now what we're going to do, we're going to mix all this up in there and stir it in as quickly as possible. And that's going to thicken that whole pot of stew. And we're going to let that simmer for about a half an hour. And then we'll be back and I will plate it up. And we're going to let Mr. James have a taste. But you can already see where it's starting to thicken. We'll be back. Okay, y'all, it is finished. We're going to plate some up for Mr. James. Oh, doesn't that look so good? Going to let that cool a minute. And bring him in. All right, Mr. James. Let me know what you think. I have to get my onion. Mm. Mmm. <laughs> mm. I called for another bite. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. All right, y'all. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Be looking out for the greens video tomorrow or the next day. Um, if you're not subscribed to Pennington's Garden Life, come on over and subscribe. We're good people. Have a blessed day.